So when I was very young, my mother decided to tell me out of the blue, I did not ask uh, where babies come from. I was just like sitting there eating cheese, watching Sesame Street, and she suddenly turned to me and said, just so you know, babies come out of a hole. And I pictured millions of little babies crawling out of the earth. <laughs> little demons who are just here to cry on airplanes. <laughs> uh, and I was terrified. Uh, and then she immediately clarified what she meant and made it even worse. <laughs> she said that babies come out of a hole that is near a woman's legs. So it, it's not a lie, but it's not exactly true either. It's just kind of true. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi true. <laughs> Babies come out of a hole near a woman's legs is like the sex ed lesson that Dumbledore would give to Harry Potter. <laughs> it sounds kind of magical, but it's also clearly bullshit. Uh, and when you tell a, a very young child that uh, the hole is not actually in between the legs, uh, but you're too shy like my mother, and you say that the hole is near a woman's legs, uh, a geeky young kid who likes sci-fi will imagine that the hole is not even a part of the woman's body. <laughs> that there's just a portal in time and space <laughs> that opens up kind of around crotch level and just floats around the woman and then sometimes, without warning, a baby falls out! <laughs> and you have to be ready to catch it! And I thought, poor women, they always have to be ready in case a portal in space and time opens up near their legs and a baby falls out, and they gotta catch that! Anyway, uh, that story doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the show. I just don't wanna pay for therapy, so...